and very soon China will, will almost take over if care is not taken by US. We need to encourage private sector participation. It's key. The government alone cannot do it. Some people will say, what is the government doing in business? That the government has no business in business. The private sector should be promoted, the incentives, motivations, you know, to make them become globally competitive and contribute to the Nigeria economy. Then you have infrastructure, you know, a lot has been said about this, like power, roads, you know, they are key for production to, to promote our output and to be able to export what we produce. We have a foreign direct investment, you know, the, we need it to complement our domestic uh, investment. We need conducive business environment. Security is on the, we need it. You know, nobody wants to, you know, go and invest in, in a place that is very hostile and uh, we have uh, insurgency, we have violence. You know, we have a lie in Nigeria. You don't even sleep well at home. You have kidnapping. You know, one of my colleagues in the Adamawa State, a lecturer, they, they went to his house and kidnapped him. Not even on the road. You know, so you can see the level of insecurity we have. So then how do you want to go and invest your money in an, a region where there, there is insecurity? When even in your house, they, they open, they knock, and then you are kidnapped. We thank God he has been released because they, they have to pay. And uh, so we need security. All our um, military personnel, the Air Force, the, all of them need to work together to give us peace so that there will be, you know, um, both lives and properties in Nigeria will be safe. Corruption, we need to empower more EFCC, ICPC, and others. SDGs, yes, you know, these are goals that are very key to Nigeria. Nigeria should work towards it to address all those goals and make sure that we are able to meet the the various um, targets, budget implementation is key because you hear today so 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 trillion. By the time you get to a particular ministry, they will tell you this year we have not received any capital budget, and the year is getting to an end. So it's not even the the, the budget submitted. There is a lot of short uh, shortfalls from the approved budget from the, um, the money re released. So it's not just seeing the budget on paper. We have a lot of gaps. The estimate, the actual, and the, the releases. You know, they, do, they, they, they don't conform. So budget implementation, when we are 30%, 70, uh, 50%, is embarrassing. So we need to address this. Sovereign Wealth Fund, in the last regime, the governor said they wanted to share, they have shared it, but we need it, you know, for poverty, alleviation programs, and others. Priority on capital expenditures. You know, the current expenditure will not create jobs you know, so as much as capital expenditure. So we need to place more emphasis. When you look at the allocation for capital expenditure, it's not really commendable. So good governance. We need to reduce cost of governance. The governor going on in the road with 20 or 30 people following him. We have traveled out and we've been to other countries. We don't even hear salaries. We don't hear anything. You know, they go gently and kill like others. May they, they maintain the lights, you know, traffic lights and others. But here in Nigeria, even they would almost drive you out of the road with 30 people following one person. So that what will happen? It's a waste. We need to call down the cost of governance, you know, and patronize Nigeria-made products. The manufacturers are suffering. Industrialists are suffering. 
everybody wants to buy made in US, made in UK, made in uh, Japan, Germany. When our own dress is here, the textile are better. They come here and collect and then go and beautify it there, sew them and they import them back to us. Even now, go to Abba, they will tell you what they do after they have made the shoes, the bags. They will now go and label made in China, made in UK. But they are Nigerian products. So are we deceiving ourselves? We are not patronizing our own products and we want to create jobs. You know? So we need to patronize made in Nigerian products. We have vehicles here. They are producing. But people will not buy. Instead, they, pro they prefer Toyota, Mm, under uh, and all this, and they are all second hand sent to Nigeria. They are not even the original ones. So, who, what are we doing? We are creating jobs for other countries. So, all these are important for us to take note, and we pray that the government will do the right thing. And then we need to promote SME, we need to call brain drain. I, I bet you today, if a question is raised, among you seated, do you prefer to read in Nigeria or you want to go to US if you get scholarship? Or everybody will say US, everybody will say UK. Just raise that question now. 90% of us, what, but what are they giving you? Some even go to West African countries, Ghana, you know, charge to bring certificates, inferior certificates. You don't know you are giving the best in Nigeria. Over there, they don't, they don't have lecturers. In fact, some of our lecturers even go there to also teach. And they cannot perform because they are combining so many things. The one man shared, uh, you know, going around up to two or three universities. What will he deliver? You see? They go to Togo to go and bring certificates. So we need to cope this, then promote entrepreneurship is very important. We want to appreciate the NUC for making it one of the major causes, you know? If, you, if every university is supposed to have a center, center of entrepreneurship, at least you learn a skill. If, if you are into agri, you learn what to do, whether poultry or fishery or something, or soap making or art making, or something that will make you, whether job or no job, you will not be idle. At least you now get your job or you further your education. So NUC is doing a lot on that. Even myself, I have benefited. I was the director. I've learned a lot of skills. If I retire today, I will, I will never suffer because I've acquired a lot of skills. And we hope all of you will do the same. <laughs> so on that note, uh, we want to thank everybody for your attention, particularly the nine university once again. I hope the dean will convey our appreciation to the vice chancellor and the manager. Thank you for your attention. Yes, this round of applause seems to be like my own. Please give her her own round of applause. Uh, that has been our grandmother, Professor Mrs. Sarah Anyawu, the president of Nigerian Economic Society. I deliberately refused to come up or give her any note indicating that her time was up because I believe it was the keynote and it deserves all the time we can give. Ladies and gentlemen, we have in our midst important personalities, and we have just um, a single item to do now. I know most of us have not taken our breakfast, and we will need to take a tea break, then come back and continue. But before then, I need to give you a little um, housekeeping arrangements. You know, when you have in your midst grandparents like Professor Sarah and Professor Mike Kwanashe, among others, and your parents, you would want to enjoy the fruits. Of course, the wealth of experience is very much in depth, and you would want to learn a lot from these personalities among all the other ones that have been invited. This boils down to the fact that one of our own late Dr. Yusuf Maitemo Sule once remarked that the joy of every dying father is to leave behind a worthy successor. And I'm telling you, these credible gentlemen of repute and women of good repute are here to give us nothing but the best out of their experiences for us to grow and of course to succeed after them. You know, about seven years ago, I'm just 23 now, about seven years ago I wanted to become a boxer. 
And my dream was to have two persons, Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson, and to give each one of them a technical knockout. But my grandmother told me, no, Nurain, don't try it. I said, no, I have to. I insisted. She said, don't even attempt to, to do that. I didn't know the implication until now. I discovered, had I become a boxer, I might have been dead by now, and I wouldn't have been alive to witness this important occasion. I have been hearing about Nile University, and today I am here. If I was a boxer, perhaps I would have been in my grave. <laughs> you are most honorably and most sincerely recognized for this very important, outstanding occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take um, a tea break. When we come back, we have five sessions, five uh, guest speakers to talk to us in 15 minutes each. And this plenary is going to be anchored by Professor Mike Kwanashe immediately after the tea break. And we have uh, Dr. Muhammad Rislanu Din. We have uh, Mrs. Tonia Shoyele, Dr. Adenuga Adeniye, and uh, Mr. Eman Dr. Emmanuel Sotande, representing the Nigeria Financial Intelligence Unit Presidency. So we have these important personalities and Dr. Arabi Muhammad, five of them to be talking to us in 15, 15 minutes each. And I want to tell you that the opening ceremony has been well informed, the conference is well conceived, and the items of discourse have fallen in line with the directive of the co direction of the conference theme. And I believe when we come back in the next 10 minutes, we are going to actually enjoy from the fruits of the trees and from the wealth of experiences of these assembled commission speakers at this conference. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to crave your indulgence this is 15 minutes after 12, and we are supposed to come back here in 10 minutes exactly. So it's just tea break, and I believe the, I've been informed rightly that the um, servers are already outside, they are ready to serve us, and then we come back in the next 10 minutes. These guest speakers are already in the hall. We just have to do it quickly in 10 minutes, stretch our legs, come back, and then continue with the proceedings of the program. Distinguished uh, guests, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. We may please take our exit as we join ourselves again in the next 10 minutes. It will be good if we allow the guest speakers to make their exit first before the participants. first before 